Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time we made it into this strange underground tavern, not tavern, cavern. We've been playing Dungeon of Narbalek and that has a lot of tavernage in it. We were down in this cavern where we were teleported after picking up a gem and we've been off to one side and pushed a button and now we need to go to the other side and push a button. So we're going to do that as swiftly and painlessly as we can. Although I've no idea how dark this side's going to be because the first side we adventured around was incredibly dark. Let's get cautious. There's a barrel over there. <laughs> I wonder if Faith, could you get up there if you wanted to? Our survey says yes. I don't see anywhere else to travel on this side. Scroll of Magic Missile, lovely. Scroll of Cure Wounds. Plants, plants, plants. 10 plus 1 arrow ammunition. Give you that straight away. And 4 food. Right, from up here, I don't see any other obvious directions to go. That doesn't seem to be a hole to travel down there. So, that was just some convenient loot, it seems, for someone that can climb walls with their shoes And with Faith returned to the party, we'll get everyone. And slowly but surely, keep working our way down this side until we find another magic button. But presumably there'll be a fight or two in the interim. <coughs> At least this side appears to be a little bit brighter. The arena click to open the map. Well, that's not ominous at all, is it? The arena. Don't know if these stalactites are going to be interactable when we do get to a fight. What did I just highlight? Secret passage. Secret passage. No path to destination. I mean, in previous times, you would literally have just walked up the wall, but I guess maybe... We're going to do a big loop and that might be an escape, perhaps? Can't really remember how we're doing for spell slots, but evidently we're not going back for a long rest now. Oh, lovely. Is this going to be some combination of a puzzle and a fight? Clearly, this is a location to stand and have something activate. And we cannot interact with whatever this is in any capacity. We can get up on the edges in some places. And it looks like... The stalactites are going to be some possible component of a fight. But we're going to have to stand in the blue box. That's a given. We're not going to get away from that. So let's stand in the blue box. Round one. Defeat your opponent. Okay, this is round one. Goblin Shaman and some wolves. Ouch. All right, how are we doing for spells? We're all right. We got lots of spells. Okay. We could get ourselves some elementals. Could do a cone of cold, but we'll save that, I think. Black tentacles, minor elementals. I 
I guess we want four just so that there's more actions to be taken by other enemies, especially if they're possibly going to hang around for a long period of time. Looks like the same type of air elementals. Uh, lightning bolt. That's the big long line, isn't it? That's not the cantrip. So yes, we will counterspell lightning bolt in our current configuration of standing up together as we are. Kite is up. I guess we're just going to start hitting things really hard with our stick. That's a bad time. Pastel. How long does... Spirit Guardians last. Ten minutes? Yes. If we're going to be fighting multiple waves of enemies in this location, I think a fourth level, one of these, could do us a lot of good work. We we'll just have to try and hold concentration on that. And then Faith. And probably get a sneak attack in if we want one. There's a big miss though. Alright, we're going to disengage. And come get some cover here. Back to the top of the order. These goblins rolled... Ri How did Faith roll so bad on initiative? Uh, yes. Block that, please, and thank you. A 1 plus 5 for a 6. That's how it was so bad. Right, Gothic is up. Who hit this direwolf? Uh, probably the... Yeah, 27 radiant damage. That'll do it. Uh, right, I think... From where we are... We cannot... Oh, that's out of range on the diagonal, which is a great shame. And yet we have disadvantage for that as well. Which is also annoying. So we'll just do... We'll do two magic missiles, just in case. None of the goblins, I think, are concentrating on anything important. Very nice. Lightning bolt again. I do not want us taking... An epic ton of, what is it, D8s in Lightning Bolt? Great big line of electricity. Good crit. That elemental. Kite. I think we can make this climb with our athletics pretty easily. Help out these guys over here. We'll not be smiting just yet. Particularly not when we can attack twice. Great work. Alright, Pastel is concentrating on Spirit Guardians, so that's where we want our focus to be. I'm going to keep our shield up because of the increased AC that we'll get. 
And so I'm also going to give... No. I was going to say I'm going to give myself two AC to make sure we keep our concentration. But of course, that would ruin our concentration. So let's take two steps forward. Hit this thing with a hammer. And then take two steps back. That worked out pretty well. Faith. From here, can you cunning action hide? No, the wolf has line of sight on you. How about here? Good. And then if we step out one step, get our bow out. Is this standard ammunition? It is. It is standard ammunition. That's what we want currently. And we'll step back in to cover. Yeah, these elementals are doing great work. Um, block the attack on an ally. Did not help, but that's fine. And then... Gothic. I think that's not going to be a problem, so let's worry about this guy over here. Adequate. Now, they've got quite a good movement speed as well, don't they? If we could just get one of them to make an attack on each of the two foes... Not going to happen there. Yeah, plus four is not very strong addition to hit right now. I'm going to have Kite come back to the center. Use his shield to protect Pastel. And let's dodge. Pastel. Since Kite is provided cover. We can get a free hand for our spell casting. And faith. Cunning action hide. Hop up here and we will spend an arrow on this attack. And we gain knowledge. Did one of these light up? Is that what that is? And we have to do three more of those. I'm just going to pause just because we do have the elemental spell and the shield of faith spell going. Before we carry on, I want to make sure all of our ammunition is topped up for everybody. That's adequate. You need bolts, sir. Sure, you can have... No, I'm not going to give you the really fancy bolts because your odds are, when you do try and shoot with bolts, you're going to miss. Because you do not have good decks. And over here, all is well. Okay. Let's unpause. Faith, if you want to hop back to here. Touch this thing. Defeat your opponent. Round two. Spectral something. Uh, we are not going to take an attack of opportunity because we would much rather have our reaction for counter spell if we need it. Our ele air elementals aren't going to be any use over there. Nice of them to dip into our radiant damage, though. And to focus their fire on our friends. Uh, 
Thunder Wave. You can cast Thunder Wave, that's fine. Alright, we might actually get a turn in a minute. Faith. If we attack the one directly above us, then we should get sneak attack because it's next to kite, just about. Yep, that went perfectly. And we're going to disengage. If you disengage, your movement does not promote opportunity attacks. Yes, I know. I'm going to hop over to here. And next turn we might get a chance to hide and the like. Kite. Come get this ghoul. Uh, we're going to crit anyway, so do we want to spend a slot smiting? It will double the dice. But I don't think they have that much health to begin with. Yeah, good, good pass. And we have enough movement speed to spend our second attack attacking the other foe. So no wasted extra attack action. And we'll smite that one. And then Pastel over here doing her thing. We've got Knight, Skeletal Sorcerer, and Badlands Ghast. What I'd like to do is if we get a good guiding bolt going, let's tr spend one of these third level ones on the sorcerer. They might die outright to this, and if they don't, Faith should be able to finish them off. Or even Gothic attacking with a cantrip at advantage. Probably do just about enough. Oh yeah, especially when you crit. That's great. That's less spell casting to worry about countering. And then these guys are just going to have a whale of a time with our tiny army doing lots of great work for us. At the very least, a great distraction. Can we hide from where we are? Nope, but if we take a step over, we can hide, pop up to here, unnoticed, and then make a ranged sneak attack. 60 health versus 24 health over here. Let's start on the big guy. And hop back down. Kite. We can make the charge in, that's no problem. And for him, we'll go after the weaker one so that there's a higher chance that we get the kill with our two attacks. So close. Let's chill touch this guy to get them done. And Gothic, I think Firebolts will be just fine. I think this round went better than the first round. They're having a great time. Right, that's two rounds completed. Two of these symbols are lit up. We'll pause that there so that 
we don't spend any more time in our spells that we don't need to. But uh, join me next time, and we'll see what the next two waves look like, whether they're going to be just as easy as these two have been, or whether the difficulty is really going to ratchet up in just a moment. Thank you very so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.